I mean, you know, it's interesting what you're saying, and it, it makes me think of current issues now at School Without Walls. One of the biggest problems right now comes from the city school district or organizational mm. mandates on the school in terms of how staff is selected ah, uh, yes. to be there. Now, there's a transfer process, but it's not always it doesn't always work to the extent that we, that people would like it to work, especially at School Without Walls, because given all the variables that I described of School Without Walls, you have to have people who support that. Right. Uh, or are willing to work with it and maybe, you know, modify, propose change, you know, be a change agent within this progressive place as well. But right now, having people be a, being assigned to School Without Walls adds more difficulty in terms of how do you get these people, you know, to buy into this, you know, yeah. through be nice if they just read the research by Ryan in DC and said, <laughs> Oh, I get it, you know. Right. <laughs> I know right. what they're trying to do. I can I think I can do that too. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so far in terms of that, it's gonna take a little bit more in terms of of dealing with that issue and it may have to yeah. be from the bigger organization in terms of saying you know in terms of having staff at this school who fit they're going to need some special flexibility in terms mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. searching for those candidates recruiting them and being able to take them into the right. organiz into right. that organization so another issue but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah another issue to deal with This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.